right, right, right. So are we all to be one single ministry and no. focused on other things? No, there's or the, should we be scattered abroad trying to have around scattered. and do everything? Yeah. So should right. one person be involved in every single ministry no. in the church? No. no, because he can't. Right. Because then you don't have the foot, you don't have right. the hand, right. you don't have the arms. I agree a hundred percent. So there but, must be everyone in the body of Christ out performing and doing the right. ministry that Christ has called us to right. in different realms and not only focus on one single realm. We agree hundred oh, percent. The entire body. Yeah. We're saying the body, not a right. single individual. Right. So but the underlying problem is not that people are aborting their children. The true problem is, is that men are sinful and depraved. That I agree. And unless they I agree. are changed by I agree. God they will continue to do sinful things just, right. just like I agree. Hitler did. Killing I agree. All the Jews. But we do because, both, right? Exactly. Like if there's a shooter going around shooting people, the cause, all right, we not only try to apprehend him, but we also help the wounded, right? Yeah. We do both. And the army of God is big enough that literally in one day we could make abortion illegal. Like all, if just the 70,000 pastors in Texas went to the governor and can, he, they could convince him to sign an order, just like Denver did, just like California did over marijuana, and make abortion illegal and close every single abortion mill down, and right? This, I mean, absolutely terrible thing, but the, the other thing that we fail to focus on as well is that we gathered as, as a church, as the body of Christ, and address the issues like the, the, the sexuality on TV, the blasphemy of the name of God. If we all got involved in that and dealt with that, but we don't. We, we don't we, all have to, though. Just do. The and army of God is big enough. Stands in unity. Yes, we do. Yeah. Because just like the homosexual agenda has pushed their agenda, right? And they're strongly moving, but they're only few numbers. Yeah. But they're more passionate about it. But if the but army we, of God was just take, activated, there would be enough people to do all these things. A smaller thing than this alone. We we, we accept blasphemy as nothing. Blasphemy the very name of God that we're standing in his name to defend those children that are being aborted. But we refuse to defend his name, to defend the very name of God. We're, we're speechless. That's what I'm talking about. No, we're not speechless. We're absolutely. We're not vocal about it. Are you as vocal about the blasphemy that happens on TV? Yes. Yes. I we talk about we t I talk about it with friends and family in McDonald's when somebody says uh, uh you know uses God's name in vain I, I talk to them about it right then. Is that or you address the holiness of God? Both. Both. I explain to them that look, you know, instead of using a cuss word, you use the God, the creator of the universe's name. I think I think that, that as far as the cause it, it's the cause, it's a word Right. Well, just like I said, the body. No, it's has both. To, the, the, it's the, both. The body has to function as a body. Right, but it's not. Not as a hand. It's not. It's not. You know, when the number one cause of death in Texas is abortion, when there's 13,000 kids right now in foster care waiting to be adopted, and nobody wants them, the gays and lesbians are lining up to adopt them. Are you married? Yes, I am married. The only thing is, is this bride in Texas is asleep, all right? Not only is it asleep, but it's sinning by not following and doing what the Word of God says for it to do, I, I, to defend I, widows and hills. The, uh, the Look, bride of Christ did Jeremiah or Amos uh, defend? Right, right, so, right. I'm not saying you're ugly. I, I have problems with people saying that the bride of Christ is um, asleep. It's not being obedient. The bride of Christ is not being obedient to the word of God. How could there be so many foster kids? Uh, I don't know what word you're talking about. There's no slander. If we live in a state where the number one cause of death is abortion, and there's 13,000 kids waiting to be aborted, and there's churches on every single corner, and there's 70,000 pastors, I tell you what, there's a false religion happening. There's a false religion. I addressed his point. I said we do both. We don't just go to the cause, but we do the cause and we... Yes, we go to town squares, we go to movie theaters. Amen. Yeah. 
anybody blasphemes me with God. You, you just made an argument saying that everybody doesn't have to do everything, right? Exactly. And I agree. So I agree. I already agree. Right. I'm involved in evangelism. That's good. We just should. We could make this illegal in one day. It's not though. It's not. It, abortion could be illegal in one day in Texas. Repentance begins in the house of the Lord. All right, and we need to repent because we live in a culture where the number one cause of death is child sacrifice. Well, how does that? How does that? The problem. Focusing on the symptom. No, 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 no. I'm not. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm talking to Christians. That's why I'm talking to Christians. No, no. no. That's it. That's if he's truly converted, what happens though is this: we have a false religion, a false Christianity in Texas, where you can be a, a, a prostitute, have abortions, and go to church every Sunday. What's that? No, no. I want you to define false. False is not following Christ, not being obedient to Christ, not you know repenting. Churches that are not doing anything but other staying in the four walls, or is that for people that churches that are going out and sharing the gospel, not focusing on abortion well, specifically, but they're still going out and sharing the gospel with the lost. Is that a false religion? Is that a false church? Well, it, 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 it could be. So in other words, if there was a starving kid here, we're talking about the church, you and me, right? We're talking about the church. If there was a, a person starving there and all we did was share the gospel with them, but left them starving, that'd be wicked and evil. Even though they went out on the street and preached the gospel, that'd be wicked and evil. Same as if we went and fed that kid, but didn't share the gospel, that would be wicked and evil. So we need to this. do both. Would you ask a ministry that is center focused on feeding the homeless, sharing the gospel, would you ask them to join you and abandon their cause? No. What I would say is I would go to the church, all right? I'd go where pe church people gather, right? Where the church is, and I would say, look, our army's way big enough. We could make abortion illegal in one day. The, the army of God is big enough. 70,000 pastors in Texas, evangelical Christian pastors, okay? In Texas, 70,000. We, we could make it illegal in one day. Like we should, we should be, the army of God's big enough. I have a question. Where in the New Testament, though, do you see Paul commanding the church to come together and to fight like some of the other Like where do you see a Paul's crowd okay. together, whatever, whatever the Paul had to do? I mean, they, but, they, they, okay, uh, good right? question. Good question. Here's my answer. Image bearers of God being murdered is not a political issue. It's a gospel issue. All right. It's men standing up and being obedient to the word of God and defending the innocent, holding back those being led to slaughter, being a voice for the voiceless. So it's not a political issue. It's a moral issue. It's an issue of the heart. We're Christians. You know, what's the most, here, let me, without me asking you guys, I'm not trying to set a trap, but to me, the most important thing, the most important thing that we can do is have a good relationship with God. You know, like my relationship with God is the most important thing. Second most important thing is to love my neighbor as myself, right? Part of that is sharing the gospel, all right? But it's also feeding, caring, saving. When I see somebody of broken spirit, you know, lifting them up, hold them, bring them close, you know? stuff like that orphans you know i mean believe me man so how do you know that they're not like heritage grace because i'm not familiar no no with heritage trace is a good church we don't go to like evil wicked churches and then the, uh, the flip side of that is why are you all here well, when we, like I spent seven months every single day, Monday through Friday, at a clinic. It's so, so, it breaks my heart, man. It's so sad. So I run to the church, other Christians, and say, look what's going on. Like they just loaded up a 55 gallon drum of dead babies in the back of a semi truck that said environmentally friendly hazardous waste yeah. removal. How can we ignore that? So I run and I, and I say, hey, Christians. And they say things like, I'm not trying to be rude. What but, is the cause of that? Why, why would men, why would men degrade the very image bearers? Because they hate God. They love their sin. What is the cause of that? They, you they, keep addressing the symptom. What is the cause? 
the cause of their their they hate God, they're lost. No, that's, right? that, that's the symptom. They're not saved. Not saved. Yeah. The brave sinner, right. Roman children of Adam. Right. Until that changes. But, saying, but we do stop both. Doing what you're doing. Right. I'm saying until that changes, men will continue on the course that they're on because it's right. their nature to do those things. Right. But if our religious leaders just went to the governor, he would make abortion illegal. But you know what? Like even when there's a bill that will make abortion illegal, the churches don't even talk about it. They don't even tell people about it. HB 948, it would have made abortion illegal. We had 10 senators that signed on it. It was held up by a pro-lifer. You know, like all I'm saying is, let's keep doing all the other good stuff. Let's meet, let's praise God, let's do all these things. Let's feed the homeless, let's street preach. But we could easily make abortion illegal. Like, I'm not here because I hate you, man. We could do it easy. We could do it easy. We just don't really care. Yeah. If we if they were killing anybody else, like preschoolers, yeah. or no, there's, there's definitely uh, it, apathy from the visible. Yeah. Uh, there, there's a and, lot of apathy towards issues. And I'm not mad at you guys. I'm not mad at Emilio or yeah, Heritage Grace. Well, and, and you know what? I'm not even trying to um, end abortion. That's where, that's, see, that's where it's like when you start, I was telling him, it's like in Judges, with 